So this isn't the straightest log in the world, but I think I'm going to take out this section and use that to try out my beam machine. This sturdy tool is easy to use. So I've got a whole bunch of trees in the yard that needs to go as well as trees on the property that needs to go or have gone down. I decided to harvest some of those lumber and use it. I was trying to decide between the Alaskan uh, chainsaw mill versus the bean machine from Quadra Tools. So I decided to buy the bean machine because I think it's a little more practical for me. And I really couldn't figure out how the Alaskan chainsaw was supposed to work with just one person. It didn't seem quite safe. So here's what's in the box. A little chainsaw holder and a beam writer, longer. I know it's supposed to be simple, but these are actually really bad instructions. It's really hard to follow. I don't know, I think we're in the age of um, maybe some color photography or some better drawings would really help. Alright, so it's my first time using it. Um, let's see how it goes. Beware, the bolt has R square shaped. making sure the chain moves freely. So there it is, the first cut. Doesn't look too bad. So I can get the second cut set up. some pretty looking grain there. This side that I cut off is actually quite smooth. And if I had, I don't know, this is really cool grain right here. I should try to think of some use for this piece. There's not much hardwood here. So a lot of that grain is probably gonna be on this side. So I'll try to do this grain some justice. Oh, it's a surprisingly square. This is surprisingly square. Okay, so I uh, nailed them in at an angle thinking that would help, but really I think I should just nail this straight up and down and that would have been easy to pull out just by uh, the lever action that I can get from pulling up the two by four. Well, there you have it guys. I don't know how long that took over an hour or so, but I'm sure the narrator will tell you how it's taking. It's about three hours of filming. This beam is coming out quite square, surprisingly square. This one's a little bit off by maybe a quarter of an inch, but three sides of it is very square, which is very surprising. It is about uh, six and a half inches thick, so if I want to use this, I guess I have to wait, what, six and a half years. But I can always mill it down to something smaller. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, my first experience, first time trying it. I think I definitely, it was definitely a learning curve. I think it's, the first thing is, I think it's a lot of oil. My chainsaw went through probably half, if not more than half of the oil that was in there. It was full when it started. And it went through about a third of a gas. And the chainsaw itself is a uh, 60 cc, I think. Uh, what else is there to say? Oh, I guess a 2x4, make sure it's nice and straight. I think that would help. And also, you only need one nail to nail it down and nail it flush. And that bar will ride up against it really nice. Um, I do think this could be dangerous to the toes because I was standing on one side and I was cutting on the other side. 
and a lot of times I felt like my toe was getting a little too close to the blade. So it's getting a little dark. I think I'm done for the day. But I hope you uh, found this video useful. I know it was a, a great learning experience for me. I'm quite humbled by the chainsaw and its power. It's, it's amazing what it can do. And also this, this simple beam machine, it's really useful. I mean, I got a, like a six by eight beam here. It doesn't look square because the ang there's an angle here, but a six by eight beam, that is, I don't know, how tall, how long is it? 24, uh, four and a half, maybe five feet, a little under five feet, which is pretty cool. I got a, a few more to cut, and then I'll try to take this out into the woods and then maybe from with some experience I can get this to cut a little bit better. And uh, I'll see if I can post, post a video for that and hopefully you'll join me for that as well. Alright, so thanks for stopping by and see you later.